Former Michigan State basketball star Keith Appling is in trouble with the law for the third time in the past six months. Detroit police arrested him last night after he allegedly drove off during a traffic stop. Let's get to Steve Garagiola live. And Steve, you're right at the spot where this traffic stop happened. Well, there are some curious questions about this. Yeah, we're at this corner of, uh, of State Fair and Orleans where Keith got stopped last night. And according to his attorney, who I spoke with this afternoon, the police alleged that he was driving a car with tinted windows, and that's why they pulled him over. It's what happened after the stop here that really got Keith in trouble. Keith Appling was on a path to stardom, a high school basketball standout at Pershing. He went on to star at Michigan State. That was just two years ago. Within the past four months, police have arrested him three times on weapons charges. Last night, he was pulled over on a traffic stop. The officer reported a strong smell of marijuana. He asked for a driver's license. When he reached into the car, Appling rolled up the window and drove off. The officer pulled his hand free and a pursuit followed. Appling was pulled over again and arrested here at Orleans and East State Fair on Detroit's east side. The officer says he noticed a bag that had been in the back seat was gone. Police retraced the path of the chase and found the bag in the street containing paperwork with Appling's name and a blue steel semi-automatic Beretta loaded with 10 live rounds. Appling already has two upcoming trials on gun charges. He was arrested June 18th following a traffic stop. Police say he was carrying a concealed weapon in his vehicle. That's a felony. He was also arrested in May in the parking lot of a Dearborn club for possession of a loaded firearm in his vehicle. Last year, Appling played a handful of games for the NBA's Orlando Magic, but that career is likely over with the threat of prison on the horizon. Now, the details of what happened here last night are details from the police report. We have not heard Keith Appling's side of the story yet. For now, he remains in custody. Uh, police still have to present their evidence to the prosecutor. That could happen tomorrow, and he'll be arraigned on these charges. Kimberly and Devin, back to you. Well, Steve, is there any indication why he took off? Well, of course, we haven't heard from Keith, but I spoke with his attorney, uh, Cyril Hall, just really about five minutes ago, and he said he wants to make it clear this was not a, a pursuit, this was not running from police. He says it was, let's call it an aggressive conversation between Keith and the police. He felt some fear for his safety, so he wanted to drive, which, according to his attorney, he did at a slow speed to a place here where there were more people around, and then he pulled over, and that's when the rest of the, uh, the arrest happened. Uh, coincidentally enough, his attorney says the two officers last night are the same two officers that pulled him over in June. Mm. So he has some questions about that coincidence. So there are lots of questions yet to be answered here, and that will happen in the coming months. Yep. Well, we know you'll keep us posted, Steve. We appreciate it.